everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to Kit Crunch Time. And so today I'm going to be playing with some fun photos and do a start to finish layout. My favorite thing to do here <laughs> at RTS is absolutely to record the story. So I have my Kit Crunch kit here and then uh, the starters. Uh, this was my Kit Crunch starters. I have my wood veneer and I have my enamel dots and I have my papers. And then of course all the lovely other things that I pulled for this kit. My embellishments, my alphas. I have some stamps here. May get into a little bit of all of it. And then remember what I said when I play with this Kit Crunch kit in the month of July. I was going to pick out a different color of my color binders. And so I pulled out the green. We'll do a quick little flip through with that if you want to see. But I'm going to do 11 photos on a one page layout I believe so let me count there's four there's eight nine ten yes eleven photos on a one page layout can I do it I think so that's my plan anyways so you can see that my uh, photos are even smaller than wallets and that's how I'm going to do eleven photos on this one page that's my plan okay so uh, there's my photos there's my kit I'm ready to go I need inspiration I have that all ready to go too so this is from the close to my heart holiday expressions this is an older a catalog magazine I just love them inspiration and so if you need a close to my heart close to my heart gal Kim Ferguson would be your gal and I'll have her information listed below because she was gracious enough to send me this and so this is the layout I'm going to do and so basically it's a minimal amount of paper but you see I'm going to have some white space and in that white space there's a lot of embellishing going on and I think I may do that I think I may play with my embellishments maybe stamp something it depends on time, you know. But I'm also going to focus on 11 photos. So I don't, if I don't have as much space to do all this embellishing, that's fine too. I need to come up with a title too, which my alphas are all right here. Okay. Now you never know when you go through a product where what you may see that will spark an idea. Because remember last week that one of those Willow Lane stickers the beauty of you. That was the inspiration for my title last week. So I don't know what I'm going to look in, you know, what I look here and then it's going to give me an inspiration because I'm going to look at that green color binder. So that's my plan. So my photos today and the story that I'm going to record, I'm going to keep this here, is that I have wanted one of these uh, gourd birdhouses for many, many years, many years. And so I wanted to learn um, how to care for them because they're not cheap. And then it was also uh, done by an artist. And so when the last time we went to Lancaster, Pennsylvania, uh, there was a store that had those and they were, um, they were painted by a local artist. And so it just, I just thought, okay, today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to take one home. And I did. Of course, you can tell which one I brought home, which was the one that had flowers. Isn't that something when you know about your personality, what your, it helps with your shopping? So, of course, this is the one I brought home. But then this was all the ones that I looked at and I enjoyed. And I just thought, oh, wouldn't this be fun to bring a little bit of this home? Even though if I had it my way, I would have brought every one of these home. <laughs> I don't know where I would have put them in my yard, but they're just beautiful. And I've wanted one for years, okay? So that's what I'm going to scrapbook today. I don't know what my title is going to be, but I'll come up with something. Maybe I'll just, um, I don't know, wish list or something. I've just always wanted one. And then, of course, you know, I wanted to um, make sure I knew how to care for this because they're not cheap. You want to make sure it lasts more than just a season. So it's just a gourd birdhouse. So if you've ever been to Lancaster, you see there's actually farms that they will sell them. So it's just fun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about my photos for a minute and then I'm going to do a flip through of my green color binder if you want to uh, hold on for that. I know Sandra has been looking forward to those. So let's talk about my photos because I am going to use 11. I used my Fuji software and printed through my Epson PictureMate and you can tell they're just lovely prints. These are just photos from an iPhone, but uh, it's the Epson PictureMate I think that takes them to the next level. So I put four photos on one 4x6 so they're small smaller than wallets. And then also too, this one was a four by six print that I changed the borders. So in the Epson picture mate, if you have one, you can go in and you can select borders or no borders. And for this one, I selected borders. And so it has a border margin of three here, here, and here. But on the bottom one, I selected 35. So that gives me the full effect of this 4x6 photo in a smaller size. Now, if you want a 4x4 photo, 
do your one margin as a 65 and then look how great you can get a 4x4 print using your Epson picture mate. Play around with those margins. This has a margin of 3, which is a standard margin. If you do borders, that's standard, 3. So this has 3, this has 3, and this has 3, and this is 35. And so when I do my 4x4s four uh, photos, uh, I do a margin of 65. So play around with that. And then you can get some Polaroid prints. That actually looks like a Polaroid print, okay? I don't think I'll keep it that size, okay? And then the best thing is, is since this has a border equally on three sides, you can can determine if you want to follow along with that three inch border but you're getting that full four by six focal photo in a smaller scale that is a great hack for an Epson picture mate play around with those margins absolutely okay because it will be different depending on your image sometimes it'll cut off too much sometimes not enough so uh, just play around with those margins that's the fun thing about that Epson picture mate of course I have these stickers here I haven't even touched them maybe I would use that for a, an alpha who knows? Okay. Uh, or maybe I could use these clouds here or see how they have that in the layout. Uh, they just have a strip of paper. That would be fun. Okay. I know I'm going to have fun playing with embellishments, but at, at the same time, this needs to be a quick page. I don't have three hours to sit here and do this because it is July. Okay. Uh, and then, oh, what did I see here? I thought that cuckoo clock, wouldn't that be fun? Because there's always a bird coming out of the cuckoo clock. Wouldn't that be fun? Of course, butterflies would be good. I just saw a lot of fun things. Okay, so let's do a flip through of that binder in the green. And you never know what we're going to find in that. Okay, so, and that was on page 41 of that magazine, if anybody's interested. Okay, so let me move all this stuff here. And let's do this green color binder. And of course, in this, I have stickers, die cuts, and chipboard. And this is just a fun little flip through. So I'm going to look for anything that's going to give me the mood and feel of those gourd birdhouses. So anything home, feel, feathers, birds, outside. <laughs> because I'm not quite sure. I was, I was getting ready to say I'm not sure what color I'm going to use, but you know I'm going to have to use green because that's the one that was up for <laughs> that was up in line. Uh, oh, that's too cute. Look at that farm girl. Oh, my dear precious me. Oh, would that not be fun? Oh, would that not be fun? Oh, that would really be fun. That would be fun. Okay, so maybe if you look at my uh, inspiration here, of course, they have ghost. This is just too cute. These kids are adorable. Uh, they have a shaker here. So where they have that big shaker element, I don't do shakers on any uh, layouts, but I would love to. I'd love to learn how to do that. Uh, I could use that farm girl. Oh, I'm going to have to make a note of that. Okay, so someone remind me. <laughs> use that October afternoon farm girl. I could do that. That'd be fun. And so let's just see what else we have. There's more stickers. Okay, more stickers, more stickers. A bloom and grow. Look at the birds. You know there's going to be birds and flowers in here because we buy a lot of that. The, one of those trees, that would be nice. Oh, maybe I could do that. You know what I could do is that I could take this inspiration piece and I could rotate it. And I could build a scene. That would be fun. So don't forget when you see something of an inspiration, uh, rotate it and rotate it. Oh, yeah, now there we go, Happy Horizontal. Of course, you know I like that. So, yes, I may rotate that. That might get in some of those, more of those embellishments, get a tree in. That would be fun. There's a butterfly. Get in a mason jar. <laughs> yeah, of course, mason jars go with anything country. See, there are some trees. There's some smaller trees. Or I could do a great big tree. Or I could use one of these great big trees and put my title over the tree. Oh, that's fun. Okay, I'm getting excited. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love doing this. I love these binders because if you think about it, all these stickers, how many different sticker sheets I would have had to look at for all that. Now, these are all green, but that's the majority of how I scrapbook, so that makes sense for me. There's more butterflies. A doily would never hurt. <laughs> Okay, but I'm thinking outdoor stuff. You know, the butterflies, the birds. I really like that farm girl. <laughs> yeah. See, and there are some feathers. I could get one of those on there. Okay. Yes. Those are nice. And here's a chipboard. So what do we have? 
Adventure Waits. There's a nice mason jar. And it's unbelievable. Even though I took the time to put every one of these products in this binder, I've had the system for years, there's still things in here I still forget I even have. You just can't remember it all. And so when you can visually see your items like in a catalog system, I wish everything in my life was like this. It would make so much, it would make my brain so happy. And then right there is a nice bird. Oh, that's a nice bird. I like that bird. I like those little flowers. And I like that one that says you make me happy because I have wanted one of those for years, for years. And even in that day, this was just a few weeks ago, when I was looking at them, I stood there, even after all of these years, I stood there, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? And I just thought, you want one, so now is the time to get one. <laughs> so that's what I did. Oh, there's another bird. That would be nice. Okay, and there's peacock feathers. So anything with feathers, butterflies, and birds. And I really, I'm hung up. Oh, there's another bird. I am... Um, and I could put big smile because that's exactly how I felt when I walked out of that store with that gourd in my hand. I was so excited. Now, here are some stickers. And I think I showed this when I was organizing Christmas supplies. Uh, when you have some big stickers and you just don't have room for them, if you have a pocket in your binder, you can stick them in there. I think I'm out of room for stickers. For, and that's why I'm going to have to add a green one. Because, see, I have these green stickers. I don't have room for them. Yeah, I'm going to have to add another sticker sheet in there because, you know, we're always finding things. Okay, so that was the flip through of my green binder. I'm going to go back to that girl because I really think I'm going to get some wax paper. And I'm going to start with that girl and build from that as an inspiration. So I could use this. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I could use this yellow gingham with that October afternoon farm girl. <laughs> Yes, okay. I have a jump start. Okay, so I will come back with a finished page. It will not be nothing complicated, but it will be totally inspired by this page right here from my close to my heart. Very cute. Very cute layout. Okay, so and it says all designs are original. Well, isn't that wonderful? Okay, so look below for more information. Come back and I will have a finished layout. Okay, hold on. So I am back with my finished layout, and I did indeed get 11 photos on this one-page layout. Sign me up. 11 photos. Love that. Okay, so using this uh, layout here for uh, an inspiration or basically a starter is that you can see that this design uh, really appeals to me because it's the half of a happy horizontal, and that's why I like it. It's just turned on a vertical uh, sense rather than a horizontal, so that's why I like it. And so then where all these uh, embellishments are, that's where I kind of put my photos. So I didn't really rely on it too heavily. It was just something to get me started. So, of course, I did play with that starfish gingham by Echo Park, and then also, to that flower paper that was in my kit that was from the lovely Simple Stories. This absolutely looks like an October afternoon afternoon floral design but it is by simple stories called summer days and then I use this so I the yellow gingham I basically cut in 6 by 12 this is a 2 by 12 and then this turquoise stripe is just the reverse of that flower just to ran another strip there to give a little bit of a stopping point here and then I absolutely had a piece of scrap left over from this gingham and I reversed it so here is the the bigger gingham and over here is the smaller gingham so just something a little extra that you wouldn't plan on seeing so then with my wallets uh, my 10 photos here they're smaller than walls because i printed four on one four by six photo and they're about one and three fourths by two and a half roughly i cut them down all the same size and then these four photos here and these four photos they're all on one mat i just took a white piece of cardstock and lined all four of those up and just made a a skinny mat and these two are on their own separate mat and of course this bigger photo is about a four by five. So the reason why this works having these all in a small size is because they're all basically the same image. They're all gourds, pictures of gourds. And so I could get away with having them in smaller sizes because I only wanted a representation of what I saw that day. And then my bigger photo is the gourd I brought home that day. So I just didn't need all those. I didn't need them in a four by six. I just want to remember what I saw. And of course my favorites, <laughs> were the floral ones but then there was some really unique ones this one was done in the design of a strawberry very unique and this one actually looks like an acorn so the artist did a just a fabulous job with those so of course I had a big smile when I was bringing mine home love that so with my 
uh, title here, I use this tree as a cluster base for my title and then also to cluster here, cluster here, and of course that October farm October afternoon farm girl. Uh, that was perfect. I really, really like that. And then of course, because my photos had so much color, I could do that in my embellishments. I have a variety of colors. So I use some of these uh, pink paisley page ovens puffies it really help tie in a lot of those colors. And then I use some wood veneer. Now with the wood veneer, what I did and these are the embellishments I have left over that I didn't use. So when I got out that green color binder, what I did was I just put on a video and I leafed through it. And anything that stuck out at me, I put on a wax paper. And then I pulled out some puffies that I thought I would play with and a couple wood veneer. And these are the ones I didn't use. But everything else that was on the wax paper, right there it is, okay? So what I do is when I sit down to create this page... I use what's on my wax paper. I don't get a, a sticker sheet. I don't get a bread pack. I don't do this. I don't do that. I just work for my wax paper. And I think that's probably how over the years I've sped up my process because with a kit, I'm narrowing my supplies. When I put items on my wax paper, then I'm narrowing my choices even more. And I think it does speed up the process. So then of course, with my wood veneer, I took a Sharpie and I'll make this a little closer, is that uh, I took my Sharpies, uh, one's in a light pink, one's in a fuchsia pink, and I just colored those little puppies up. It's just half and half, just using a simple Sharpie. And so sometimes I forget to do that. Sometimes I forget when you're looking at a piece of chip or a wood veneer that you can absolutely use your markers and your inks and your stamps and you can do uh, some treatments on your wood veneer and then also too down here I put an enamel dot on top of a wood veneer sometimes I forget to do that you can definitely play with wood veneer because this is just a neutral embellishment you can do a lot of things with that and so then I just sprinkled in more puffy stickers and enamel dots and I will tell you that everything on here I use one adhesive other than some foam tape behind these butterflies is that I use my quick dry for the wood veneer, even the enamel dots, they seem like they needed a little, my puffy stickers needed some adhesive, and then also to uh, my die cuts, and also to my wood veneer. I use quick dry for all of that. Very, very fun. And of course, you know, I do the bend test. And so if anything pops up, especially in my photo corners, anything like that, I just put a drop of this glue behind that because I don't want anything popping off. But I will tell you with puffy stickers, you're definitely going to have to start putting adhesive. Uh, they stay kind of well on this sheet, but when it comes to the paper part, they don't stay uh, stuck very much. And then I'll, I use these Jelly Bean Soup letter stickers again like I did last Last week so again I had to put an adhesive on all of those as well and then I sprinkled a few more word stickers that says up a tree and free a fresh breeze <laughs> and road trip I sprinkled that through the photos so just love how that turned out I absolutely enjoyed doing this whole page it was just fun to do uh, because seeing all of those make me happy and then adding the embellishments and you know a title and some just fun embellishments and clusters and this girl showstopper <laughs> Yeah, it was just fun absolutely to do. Nothing artistic about this. It's just fun to play with color and embellishments and paper. And then, of course, up here at the top, this is where my journaling is going to go, right on top of that. And it's just a white cardstock mat. And I'm, going, I, and I'm still doing some scoring for my journaling mats. And that's just a cross... Uh, that's just a leftover from my 4 for 4 series. I did that in all my journaling mats for those pages, and I'm still doing that. So you know how you uh, like something and you do it for a while. So what I'm doing now is using my trimmer and just scoring my mats for my journaling because that's where my journaling is going to go. And that is how simple that page came together. Now for leftovers, I have no photos that are left over. All 11 that I printed are right there. And then the leftovers I have for here... My wood veneer will go back with this. And speaking of that, a lot of gals are finding this exact wood veneer set a Tuesday morning for a very inexpensive price. It's called Bowl of Dreams, and it has cameras and flowers and hearts and feathers and also two arrows. Uh, this was something I started with my Kit Crunch. Very, You can do so many pages with that. <laughs> yes. And then these puppies are going to go back on the sheet here. Not hard. Okay, and then my chipboard. I don't think I'll put it back in the binder, so I'll probably put it in my embellishment kit floating around. That's probably what I'll do. Okay, so that is how my page ended. Really tickled how it turned out, but then I think anytime we have a finished page, 
we feel that way. It's done. Except for my journaling, which that's going to be a continual process for me. Uh, for my journaling, it has to go in stages. So that's all I have for today. Come back next week in Kit Crunch. What will we be doing? Kit Flip. And you'll notice that in my last two layouts, my main paper has been those gingham pieces that I started my kit with. So that's interesting. So I'll see... Um, We'll see what we play with next week in Kit Flip. I don't know. They're probably all going to be pretty papers because they're all summer. So that will be fun. So that's all I have for today. There'll be some close-ups at the end. Put a smile on your face and come back because at RTS, you never know what we're going to do. Bye. <laughs>